to ten, yeah, nana bisi mama. <laughs> it is time for African no salary man part part one episode one episode one. Oh my god, they even put in a Lion King reference. I did not expect them to do that. I'm really excited for this because I kind of I enjoy comedy that's infused with like real life situation but using animal characteristics as well to add more kind of interesting aspect to it because I enjoyed the Honda Sama the bookkeeper anime that used the skeletons to show like Halloween kind of creatures to show the life of um, a bookkeeper and then I also enjoyed Retsu the aggressive little raccoon to show the daily life of a salary woman but through animal characteristics so that was really enjoyable so i'm hoping that this will be kind of similar to those animes oh my god they put in so many lion king references i did not expect them to do this i just saw africa so i was like oh lion king what does that lion look like gorilla fusion lion <laughs> that breakfast. <laughs> the drawing kind of looks like cutouts. Stuck. Like, cut yeah, the animation kind of looks like cutout characters that they use. It's unique. I like it. It's. I'm not saying it's like amazing or fantastic or anything, but like it's uniquely oddly but pleasant enough. Oh, that, I just got another reference. It reminds me of Zootopia with the rabbit and the fox, but in this case, it's a lion instead. I already love this. It's going to be like my slice of life, slice of work life with comedy and also being able to see cool. Oh my God, don't tell me you just did a Fortnite dance. No. I refuse to watch this now. <laughs> I am slightly disappointed. I mean, I see that they're trying to be hipster, but really, Fortnite reference? No. Just no. Just stop it! <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, I think I'm gonna really like it because I also get to look at animals, and you guys, I think, are picking up on the fact that I really like animals. I wanted to become a zookeeper when I was a little kid. And a vet. Just thought you guys should know. Africa pervert, what? <laughs> Did not see the context of that properly. Oh no, what happened to you? I think you should put a band-aid or go to the doctors if you're bleeding rather than scrubbing your face. This toucan is a rage road driver and needs help. Oh no. Mm hmm. The lizard man has the skills. He'd be slithering up in your DMs. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. Only professionals go for the MILF. Savannah Unana. My heart is. Sorry, sorry. Every time that song is really catchy. <gasps> Did he just cut off his tail? Oh. I mean, I think that's fair enough. But the fact that I know lizards can deattach their tails in kind of emergency situations or if it gets caught or something, but like it's still gotta hurt, boy. <laughs> when I'm about to be like, ooh, that's nasty, but he's just like, ooh, that fly looks delicious. 
Aww. Something clicked. I was thinking that there was something on my like annoying buzz feed, like tingles. And now I'm realizing where this toucan's voice is coming from. It's um from Demon Slayer. It's Zetsu, isn't it? <laughs> I did not expect this anime to be so gruesome. <laughs> I think that's the voice actor, because I'm getting like similar annoying vibes. Still love the character though, but still annoying. I really want a donut. There's like no donut shops where I live. When you admit that you're not useful and you may be the cause of anger of your boss. He's so mean! He drugged his senpai with catnip so he could steal the ham. <laughs> what is with this drawing? <gasps> he broke his favorite mug. No, it was so cute. He is exactly like Z um, Zensu. I think that's the name, yeah. I love when we managed to get a character so similar to it. <laughs> what did they do? Oh! <laughs> oh, it was all a misunderstanding. I wish work was always like that and that you could actually leave when you were meant to be contracted to leave at that time. Ciao! <laughs> mm. The lonely boss life. But you're all like businessmen. Maybe you shouldn't be going for high school students? Oh my god, is this a reference to that um, angry um, Ritsu anime? It's gonna be that lion, isn't it? And the gorilla? Oh no, it's a piggy! The piggy's cute as well. <laughs> that girl has a priority straight. Eat all you can at mixes. Cause you ain't pay for that bill. <laughs> Opinion changes straight away. <laughs> I hate how you eat so messily to the point that I love it. <laughs> She's rich. She's rich. She's rich. Accept it. Accept it. She's rich. I don't think you're gonna make it to the marriage point. He's going crazy. What just happened to the jewelry? <laughs> He's lost it. He's done. How dare you ruin the D Dior suit. <laughs> You can't sell her for bacon? What's going on? What's happening? Is she like really really young? Oh that was a pet? So she wasn't even the rich pig. She was the pig. She was a pet of the rich person. Oh he gonna lose it. He's gonna lose his shit isn't he? You poor poor toucan. <laughs> Oh, poor poor toucan. When you thought you could get a rich waifu. But she wasn't the rich waifu. How I laugh when I'm about to lose my shit in life. <laughs> Me laughing off all my problems in life. Oh, I love that. I was just grinning and laughing the whole time. It's just, it's the type of comedy that I need in my daily life. And also... I think you're gonna enjoy this anime more if you've worked so you can kind of relate to some of the contacts but even if you don't work the situations are still relatable to a point um, or at least you can you can still relate to the context because you know of the context. I really like all the characters we haven't seen much of the lion but the toucan is hilarious he's just so over the top and I think he kind of shows like the inner dark thoughts of what 
people actually think. Like how he suddenly treated that piggy nice because he thought he was rich and he could marry into that family and be rich forever. I personally like the lizard man the most just because he's just like the realistic, like sturdy, harsh guy. The drawing style and the animation is a bit all over the place. In a sense, since it's all over the place, it's very visually enticing for the eyes because you just, it's funkiness all over the place. Does she have a zebra leg in her mouth? Oh dear God. Wait, I thought this was the- is this not the end? It just keeps going. I thought we were at the end, but it just keeps going. Never mind. I gotta put my little conclusion thought process a bit later. <gasps> oh no, not the tail again. Not the tail. This is not a classic situation. <laughs> he just ripped off his tail, girl. Oh, I feel so bad for this lizard guy. Yeah, I'm excited for this. I think there's nothing like spectacular about it, but it's just like comedy well done. I'm constantly laughing or and grinning ear to ear. It's just really enjoyable and fun. I think you guys should definitely check it out if you want something relaxing, but really funny at the same time. It just kind of brightened up my day. I think it's just gonna be my cherry on top of all the animes in the sense that it's like the cherry that wraps up the Sunday. And then going more into the metaphor, it's not a core anime, but it's just still that finishing touch you need on top of it to make everything delightful. Got all metaphorically poetry there. So yeah, I will definitely see you guys next week in seeing episode two of Africa No Salary Man. Peace out.